hi guys welcome back to my channel so today is the video that i promised it is my entire handbag collection video and this is one of the hardest videos to film because you have to get everything out of your closet and you know try to get things organized to film but i know it's one of your favorite videos to watch so i'm so happy to be doing this if you've been following me you know that i don't, I don't have a really huge collection i have really narrowed it down to bags that truly work for me and i'm very very happy with it so, so without further ado let's get started so i really have no idea what the best order to do this would be so i'm just gonna do whatever's in front of me and the first bag is my speedy 25 so i actually had owned the speedy 25 in this exact version before however i i sold it to get the speedy bandolier version which i used but i didn't love it so much and i really did not like that stripe that went down the side so i let that one go and then i repurchased the speedy 25 um a couple maybe three years ago However, I realized that um, although I really love the classic Speedy, I just have other bags that I favor when I want to use a bag in this size. So this one I did list on my vlog sale. It has not sold. So if any of you guys are interested, this one is still available. It's one that I'm letting go. And yeah, it's priced well under retail. I just think it's so classic. I think it's such a great bag, but yeah. This is what I'm letting go, but it's still in my collection, so it is the first bag that I wanted to share with you. So since we're on Louis Vuitton, let me go to another Louis Vuitton item that I have. It is this beautiful utility crossbody. So this is a really recent purchase for me. I did get it on the pre-love market. I don't know what it is about this little cute bag, but you know, it, it just goes with my style. And so I got it. Um, it is a good size. So it's kind of like any mini bag. It holds enough. And um, I like to use it with um, the zippers on this side like this at the top corner. So then it makes it easy when I have it on. And this is what the inside looks like. And yeah, I really um, think this is a great size and it's really useful, it's really casual. One of the things that I did not know about this bag is it rattles. So because the canvas is like a stiff material and there are multiple zippers here, yeah, you'll hear the zipper. So that could be annoying to some people. To me, it hasn't really bothered me. I did worry about the strap because I thought it was gonna get too dirty. And you know, like how do you wash a strap that has vachetta leather pieces on it? So that's one concern that I have, but so far it's been okay. It does have this little pouch here, which to be honest, it's pretty useless unless you have like an AirPod you can put but in here. I still think it looks really cute this on. This one is discontinued. So you can't get it anymore, which, you know, it can be a good or a bad, but yeah, I really wanted to try it. I think it's absolutely adorable and it's been working great for me. So yeah, the Louis Vuitton utility crossbody. So the third and final handbag from Louis Vuitton that I have in my collection is none other than the Palm Springs mini backpack. So you guys know I've raved about this backpack so many times. I did have the version that had the, the lip over the zipper that had the cracking issues. And so I was able to exchange it for a brand new one. So this one is the one with the exposed zipper and it is um, in this super, super squishy soft canvas. So it's this canvas is a lot softer than the canvas on this utility crossbody. And actually that's what I heard. I heard that Louis Vuitton will use, um, I guess different, different, different configurations of canvas for whichever bags that they have. So they're not all one and the same. So like I said, this canvas is soft and it wouldn't make noises. However, this canvas is a lot stiffer. It's a lot harder and it does rattle quite a bit. But yes, the Palm Springs main backpack is so great because it doesn't have that fichetta. So this black, leather makes it so useful to use in the rain and it all. does hold a ton and the exposed zipper makes it so easy to open and close yeah it's one big pocket i have to say however that i have not been using the palm springs mini a lot lately it's not getting used as much as i had used it before but i still love it and i still think it is an amazing bag. so those are the only louis vuitton handbags that i have however i do have this nice mini which you know, I had added those rings before to use it as a bag. I honestly never ended up doing that because I just use it as a cosmetic case. Um, but um, my daughter, I, I think I've mentioned this, my daughter 
has started rating my uh, <laughs> my cosmetics and she likes to share everything that I have and to be honest um, she has gotten um, some stuff on the piping you can't really see it that well but if you look closely there are some marks on the piping and yeah I just feel like I shouldn't be putting my cosmetics in here anymore because I just don't want her to ruin it and that kind of defeats the purpose of owning something like this so yes this is another one that I have listed in my vlog sale that is still available um I will list all the prices and everything of the items that I am letting go down in the comment section below if you're interested just um, contact me and we can discuss the price and whatnot i do really love this however it's really great for a cosmetic case i just don't know like if i need a expensive cosmetic case especially when i'm worried that my daughter is going to ruin it and if it doesn't sell that's fine too but yeah it's available for anybody who's interested so the next handbag in my collection is none other than the fendi baguette you guys know I love this Fendi Baguette. I got this pre-love for an amazing, amazing price. Before everybody started getting back into Fendi. This so bag was so neglected in the luxury community for the longest time. And that's when I got it. It's It was, it was when it wasn't that popular. And so I got this on the pre-love market at like a killer, killer price. I think I only paid like $1,200 or something like that. In any case, now they are so, so popular. Everybody seems to want to get the Fendi Baguette. And I totally know why, because it is such a great bag. It's so soft. It is so easy to use. It goes so well, dressy or casual. And it's very, very comparable in size to the Chanel yeah. Classic Flap, yet it is a lot more user-friendly. I, I truly, truly love Mike Baguette. So the next handbag in my collection, if you can call it a handbag, is this most recent purchase. This is the Fendi Pico Peekaboo and Oh, it is so adorable. I really, really love this. Um, yeah, it is a bag. It comes with a strap. It has a little top handle. It comes with a turn lock closure. You have the ring. Um, and you can fit more than just your cards in here. It, like, it will fit your keys. You can literally just take this one thing out when you go out. And yeah, I'm really, really happy to have added this to my collection. And I really think mini bags are super useful. And the great thing is if the trend goes away, it can still be a cute SLG to carry inside of your bags and you don't have to wear it as like a little tiny micro bag. And the fact that this one can be just clipped to your belt loop and used as like a belt bag, I think is amazing. So yes, the Fendi Pico Peekaboo is definitely a mini handbag in my collection that I am absolutely in love with. Next is a bag that I have been carrying today. It is my Lady Dior in the supple calfskin. So if you guys have never seen this version before, I know most people just do the lambskin version or I know they've been doing what, like the raffia version. You know, there are different iterations of the Lady Dior. However, this one was in... I believe this one was released in 2017, but it is a supple calfskin and it is soft. I mean, it's not rigid at all. I don't think you can do this <laughs> to the lambskin version, but this supple calfskin, yes, you absolutely can, which makes it so, so user-friendly. The strap is this wide guitar strap, which is so soft and comfortable on your shoulder. It doesn't feel as boxy because it's just, you know, it kind of like lays on your body and it doesn't like jut out. I feel like this is the best version of the Lady Dior that they've made and I don't know why they've never come out with it again but I absolutely love this. Um, it is very rare. You barely do see it um, in the pre-love market. It's so roomy. It has all my stuff in here. The inside is this beautiful beautiful suede and it does have this flat closure which makes it even easier and I just absolutely love this bag and so happy to have found it when i did so next is a bag that i truly truly love and have used so so much and shared so much on my instagram and on my channel yes it is my loewe puzzle bag and look at it like i don't even zip it up and i just leave it like this <laughs> it's a big mess but i love that it is a big mess i love that i am able to use it just you know i just don't even think about it this is my throw around bag this is the reason i never use that speedy do you use the shoulder strap option a lot like i'll carry it like this however 
the top handle is like the way they designed this top handle it's just so comfortable and i don't know how to explain it unless you own this bag but this top handle just feels so nice against your hands and it's so comfortable compared to other bags that have top handles it's it, it just lays so well on your arm, in your hand. I just cannot say anything bad about this bag. I just really love it. I have mine in the medium size, which I've shared multiple times that this is bigger than the small that most people want to get. But I love that it has this wider strap. The hardware is silver, which is great. It has the feet and then it has this additional ring that you can hook your strap to like so. And then just make it into like a, a, a crossbody sling bag. So yeah, it's just, this bag is amazing. I love it. I could not um, recommend it highly enough. And yes, it is one of my favorites in my collection. Speaking of the Loewe puzzle bag, the next bag in my collection is the Lindy 26. I got this very recently because I got a coupon for um, my birthday and I was able to get a discount on this and I've always always wanted to try the Lindy I thought because I love the puzzle bag so much and there is kind of a resemblance between the way you would use the puzzle and the way you would use the Lindy I think it's very very similar it both has kind of like a boxier shape to it and then the Lindy has side pockets here and here and the inside is just one big hole like so and the Terillion Clemence leather is just very very soft and mushy and this is a um, pre-loved item that has been well loved well used so it is already in this like really slouchy dumpling shape I have been carrying this quite a lot and it is a really good bag to just like throw on your shoulder and go I have to say however whereas some Hermes bags feel quite luxurious when you carry it the Lindy is a bag that doesn't feel that way at all. It's a super, super casual bag. It's really under the radar. There's nothing flashy about it. Nobody thinks like, oh my gosh, she's carrying an Emirates bag. Like, yeah, that's not the vibe you get from this bag. Which is something that I love. But then again, it's kind of like, I kind of get that same feeling from my Louis V puzzle. So I'm still trying to see if this will stay in my collection long term or not. But I love having it. I love carrying it. And yeah, we'll see if it stays in my collection or if I decide to let it go. So the next Hermes bag I have in my collection is this beauty right here. This is the Evelyn TPM in the bamboo green with the special um, variegated um, canvas drop. This is the best, best bag. I love the color. You guys know most of my collection is just brown and black and even then, mostly black so to have this pop of color to use once in a while is so great some people say it's tiny it doesn't hold a lot and doesn't work for them it's great for me like it's roomy you can just cross body i love adding a twilly to it just to make it look a little bit more i guess not so plain and yeah i just i just really love this is this is my happy bag the third and final hermes bag i have in my collection is my beautiful <laughs> Kelly 28. Uh, it's in the black with palladium hardware. So I don't know about you guys, but black and palladium is so chic, so cool. I know most people just absolutely love black and gold, but there is just something about black and palladium that is just, it's so, so good. I really love having my So Black Rodeo on here. I think it adds that little bit of fun. And then I love changing Twilly's out to make it look different. Before I had a black and white Twilly on here, which made it look really monochrome and edgy and nice. But then you add a pop of color like this and I love how that looks also. And this Twilly with the grays and the yellows, oh, I think it just looks so good against this black Togo with the palladium. It's just amazing. And I asked before on Instagram if you don't follow me there um, whether I should let this Kelly 28 go and go for the 25 size because I just carry smaller bags most of the time. And so I thought, oh, you know, I really want to try the 25. It seems like that would be the perfect size for me. But the thing is, I love the 28 too. I just don't like duplicating. So like having two bags, but in different sizes, I just don't like doing it. So 
in order to have the Kelly 25, I would have to let this go, but I am hesitating because I feel like if I regret it, I'm never going to find it in this condition at the price that I got. I mean, the prices have gone down quite a bit, but still. I'm still thinking about it. I'm still thinking whether or not the Kelly 25 would be the better size for me or if I should just hang on to the 28. But for now, I love this bag. I love using her. I love the look. I think it looks so cool, so edgy. And, and I'm definitely going to take it slow and not make a rash decision about it. So anyways, this is the Hermes Kelly 28. Um, black togo with palladium hardware, which is absolutely perfect. So now we move on to Chanel. And the first Chanel bag that I have is the largest bag in my collection. It is this beautiful Chanel DeVille tote. Ah, oh, I love this color combo. I think this is the perfect color combo for me. And I think it's because it is in this combo that I love this bag so much. I don't know that I would want a Deauville in any other color. So this is just the most beautiful shade of gray and black together. It does have the shiny piping and I don't know, just everything about this bag is perfect. I just absolutely love it. Um, the chain is nice, the handles are nice. It's perfect for travel. And I actually love using it without an organizer because I just love slouchy bags. I don't know what it is about me and slouchy bags, but you guys know like I am like drooling over the side trunk that Louis Vuitton just came out with because it is that trunk, but it's slouchy. And that is just like, I, I drool over slouchy bags. And yeah, this Deauville is also a very slouchy bag that I absolutely love. If I do carry things that are too heavy, then I will use an organizer because I don't want and the bottom to like sag or anything like it's that. It's really great for travel. This is the bag that I took to Korea when I went back home this winter and I just absolutely loved it. So yeah, definitely one of my favorite, favorite, favorite bags and color combo. It's wonderful. I absolutely love it. Speaking of travel, the other bag that I took when I went traveling was this Boy Walk. So you guys, I really um, love the walk. It's funny because I was never a walk person. And when people were raving about the walk, I thought, you know, not no, that's not a bag for me. But, but I have changed my mind since then. It is the perfect bag for travel because your passports fit into it. So um, normally when you don't have to carry your passport or ID around with you, any other bag will work. You could do like a tote, you could do a micro bag, everything works. However, when you just need that one bag to do everything, this is it. And even in the winter time, like I had my hand sanitizer in here. I had mine and my three children's passports in here. I had cash, I had my cards, I had my lipstick, and I had hand warmers. I mean, I had everything in here in this little thing, and it was roomy enough for that. And I wore it crossbody over my coats, and it worked perfectly, and I absolutely, absolutely recommend this for travel, and I am super happy that I added this into my collection. So from one boy style to another, I also have this boy micro belt bags. I fell in love with this first and then I decided to sell it because I wanted to get a bigger one, which is when I got this. But then I missed having this micro bag version so much that I ended up repurchasing it in the black and it's so great. So I love that I can use this as a wallet inside of my purse. And actually I did alter this in order to use it. So this chain is a bit heavy. So when I wanna use it as a wallet, um, I just don't like having this chain on it. So what I did is I noticed that it actually has, you can actually make this a little wider to undo it from the hook that it has. And then I just attached it to these little like chain um things that you get for your um for your chanel bags and if i want to i can just pull this completely off like so and then just use this as a wallet and this just works for me 
so, so much better than having this on there 24 seven. I know a lot of you are probably like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that you did that to a Chanel piece. But honestly, in order to get the use that I wanted from it, this is what I had to do. And I'm perfectly okay with doing it. So yeah, now I'm able to take it off and now I can just use this as a card holder when I want to. But then when I want to add the chain and carry it as a micro bag, which I do all the time, then I just attach it back and it really works for me. So this is my Chanel Micro Boy belt bag in the Chevron and absolutely, absolutely love. So I do have another Chanel micro bag and this is what started it all for me. It is my Chanel Trendy CC micro bag um, that I got back in, I think it was like 2019, right? Guys, this is so great. And this one is actually not so micro. This it is a lot bigger than a card holder. Um, yeah, I don't know, would this even go in here? Yeah, see, so it is bigger than a micro bag, but it's still small enough that it is not cumbersome. It carries everything that you would need. I got it in this wider um, quilting instead of the classic quilting size, which is, you know, something like this. And I absolutely love it. And it has the plaque on the top and uh, it's just so, so gorgeous. You are able to wear it crossbody. So I really do love that. The size is perfect. I don't use this as frequently as I use like my micro bags. However, it does get used and I, I love it. I love the design. I think it's so beautiful. I know when I got it, I think I got it for like 1600 or so, which is crazy, right? <laughs> because of the prices of Chanel today. I think this goes for like closer to 3000 now. So yeah, I got it at a really good price and it's still beautiful. I love the trendy plaque on there. You guys know, like I have a trendy CC on my wish list, and yeah, I I do absolutely love this piece and it is what started my obsession for these smaller, tinier bags. And yeah, you can see why because it is absolutely stunning. So that just leaves one more bag to share with you guys. The final bag in my entire handbag collection is my Chanel So Black Coco Handle in the Chevron. Oh, I absolutely love this Coco Handle. So this is in the old mini size. I think they call this the small now, but it is so, so gorgeous. I'm really, really happy that I got it in the chevron and the so black because it makes it a lot more casual. Otherwise, I think it would have been too dressy of a style for me, but it just works well with a lot of my super casual outfits. I think the so black hardware also works with anything. Like you don't have to worry about matching hardware, which to be quite honest, I don't really match my hardware to my jewelry. I don't think it really matters that much. The size is perfect. I, I just, really really love that this one has the burgundy interior Ugh. and it's all leather i think this is just so absolutely stunning really easy to carry i do know why people say this handle bothers them now because when you're using it and then you have to open it this handle it's because it's so rigid on there, you have to move it away from your body in order to open it. Regardless, it's absolutely stunning. I just think it is one of the most beautiful bags and I'm super, super happy to have it in my collection. So that is it, you guys. That is my entire handbag collection. I know it's not one of the biggest collections. However, all the bags that I have, I really do love and use every single one of them. The ones that I'm not using, my Speedy 25, Nice Mini, those are up for sale. So if you guys are interested, contact me. All the other items from my vlog sale, besides the beautiful box Kelly that I had and the Nano Baguette, everything else is still available. So if you guys are interested, I'll link that video down below and I'll list the items down below even if I didn't show it um, in this video. So just contact me via Instagram or through my email and I'd be happy to you know, talk about price and whatnot. So yeah, that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. My voice is cracking a bit, but I'm glad to have done this. So now I don't have to worry about doing an entire collection video for a while, but I really do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I would really appreciate if you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And with that said, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week and I will see you in my next one. Take care, everybody.